the best case scenario, John. That's my answer. Yeah, I mean, Donald Trump is a fact-bending loose cannon who alienates mainstream voters with everything he says, but he gets he gets constant media attention for free. It won't be a day from now until November when Trump isn't on every TV channel. And with a straight face, you're going to tell me that electing a woman is unprecedented? Germany elected a female chancellor. Brazil elected a female president. Denmark, Poland, Korea, Argentina, Norway, Liberia, Cyprus are run by women. So 22 sovereign states in the world have already beat us on this. All right, all right, okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, I, okay, 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 game change, guy. Just in case you accidentally find yourself writing a third book, there's some things that you should know. And, and one of them is there's absolutely no evidence to support the statement that Trump is the best case scenario for Hillary Clinton. 38% of the people gave her a favorable rating. 30% of the people say that she's honest and trustworthy. And just 22% of Democrats say they're enthusiastic about her being the nominee. Sure, she beats Trump in some categories, like millennials who don't even show up to vote. She also leads in the number of messages deleted on a personal email server, but that aside. So when you ask, you ask what makes Trump the best case scenario for Hillary, I don't know what the f you're talking about. His tiny hands?